Welcome to the Pharmacovigilance Training Module M2. In this training module, we'll be looking at the user vigilance system components and system functionalities, comprising of the user vigilance gateway, the organization and user management system, the user vigilance database management system, the data analysis system, and the ADR reports portal. The target audience for this training module are national competent authorities of the European Economic Area, marketing authorization holders, commercial and non-commercial sponsors of clinical trials. The intention of this training module is to provide an understanding of the technical components that together provide all the functionalities of the system from a user's perspective. In addition, it will also provide an overview of how all these components interact together. The knowledge gained from this module will provide the foundational basis for the subsequent training modules. By the end of this module, you should be able to understand the key technical components and functionalities of the user vision system and recognize which of these components and functionalities are relevant from the perspective of an NCA MEH or sponsor of a clinical trial. This diagram provides an overview of the user vision system and how the components are connected. In addition, it shows key reference sources used by user vision such as MEDRA and the Article 57 database. The first component we will look at is the user vision gateway. The gateway provides a secure connection over the internet for electronic submission and exchange of ICSRs and the resulting acknowledgement messages within the EEA. The data is protected through the use of encryption and provides message disposition notifications that, so that the sender and receiver have non-repudiation. Non-repudiation refers to the ability to ensure that neither party involved in the exchange of data can deny that the exchange took place. The registration of stakeholder organizations and their users is carried out in the organization and user management system. During the registration process, an organization will assign their organizational identifier and select their method of transmission. The methods of transmission available are to use a gateway, EV post, or EV web. Once the organization is registered, the users within that organization can then be registered and their access rights assigned. Users will be able to access different parts of the user vision system depending on their access rights. At the time of registration of an organization, a user or users within that organization will be assigned the role of an administrator, which will enable them to create new users, remove existing users, and set access permissions for the users within their organization. The user vigilance database management system is the core component of the European Pharmacovigilance database. It includes a fully automated safety and message processing mechanism in accordance with ISO ICSR standard 27953, which is uh, also referred to as E2BR3. It is also able to process the previous ICH E2BR2 message specification. This component includes administrative functionalities for managing data held within the database. It also provides the access to data for user vigilance stakeholders in accordance with the user vigilance access policy. The user vigilance web application EVWeb is specifically designed for organizations that do not have a pharmacovigilance system for electronically reporting ICSRs to the relevant regulatory authorities. Using the online EV web forms, users can create and send electronic ICSRs in compliance with the required standards. EV web also enables the receiving of both safety and acknowledgement messages. The EV post function in EV web allows organizations to post 
valid electronic ICSR files created by their own Pharmacovision systems without having a local gateway installed. The next main component is the user vigilance database itself. The user vigilance database is divided into two parts. The user vigilance post authorization module, EVPM, which is for the ICSRs relating to spontaneous reports and for reports from non interventional studies. The second part is the user vigilance clinical trial module, EVCTM, which is for ICSRs related to reports on suspected, unexpected, serious adverse reactions also referred to as SUSARs, that occur in the frame of interventional studies. EVWeb includes some additional components. The rerouting component allows national competent authorities to choose which ICSRs should be rerouted to them following the implementation of simplified reporting. The ICSR download for marketing authorization holders allows them to download ICSRs in accordance with the user vision's access policy. The duplicate detection component allows the EMA to manage duplicated reports within the user vision system through the creation of master cases that links all the duplicated ICSRs together. The recoding component allows EMA to recode the verbatim drug and substance information reported in ICSRs against Article 57 medicinal product information. The user vigilance data analysis system has been designed to allow users to analyse safety data collected in user vigilance. This enables better informed decisions about the safety profile of medicinal products. EVDAS provides a range of analytical tools such as measuring reporting compliance for regulatory purposes and for performing pharmacovigilance analysis such as signal detection. The extraction, transformation and loading process ETL, takes the data from source transactional databases. The data from these databases is processed so that missing information that can be calculated from the underlying data is included in the EVDAS system. This enables analysis on these fields to be performed. An example is calculating missing patient age and age groups from the reported date of birth of the uh, patient in the ISSR. If this calculation is not performed, stratifying the data using this data would not be possible. Product data from the XCVMPD is also added to EVDAS through the same ETL process. The ADL Reports portal is a publicly accessible website that was launched by the European Medicines Agency in 2012 to provide the public with access to reports of suspected side effects in line with the user vigilance access policy. The portal is populated with data from the EVDAS system. The URL for accessing this website is provided at the top of this slide. So to recap, in this training module, we have examined the components and functionality of the user vigilance system, which has included the user vigilance gateway, the organization and user management system, the database management system components, EVWeb and ICSR download function, the data analysis system, and the ADR reports portal. We hope you have found this training course useful and a feedback form is available from the EMA corporate website.